too much, we want you to be able to explore many of this yourself. Uh, okay, this is the new UI. Wow, look at this. Right side of the screen, we'll take a look. Uh, at, uh, just the team look like window. Yeah. Uh, things just look very I different. I gave windows them. Uh, again, we have, of course, we have because, the three uh, will be going over. We, we, they just use a simple the color. And then we really just add the store and team to the left side. Right so we can assess well. easily. So you guys can go ahead and take a look. Like I said, we're not going to go into everything right now. We want you guys to be able to have fun exploring on your own. So uh, you guys can look forward to that. So we look forward to seeing what your feedback is regarding the, the UI change. Fantastic. It does look a lot sleeker. And I do want to point out to everyone, just take this opportunity right now to say that the stream build may differ from the wow. live build. Some numbers and details may change. Look at the uh, character design. That's correct. So of course, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into the new uniforms again. Ooh, much to go not over. bad. Uh, as you can see, we have the three new uniforms coming so far. We have the Maker, we have Superior Iron Man, and we have Mr. X in his uh, classic wheelchair. I can't, I can't really All call right. it a wheelchair though, can I? there's no wheels so no there's not not correct it is a cool chair though yes so so we're gonna go ahead and take a look starting with mr richards mr richards reed richards the maker kim what can you tell us so far about uh this look well he is as you called sometimes called uh the maker sometimes ultimate reed richards he is the ultimate marvel universe's version of not mr. bad Fantastic. and we are more familiar with Earth 616, Mr. Fantastic. This version of him is what he could have been had he applied his superior intellect to malice and evil. Hmm. Yeah, so of course, with that said, Reed Richards is actually listed as a supervillain with his team form, so you can look forward to that. So with this update, uh, with this uniform, there are some changes to his passive skills. For example, uh, two changes that come to the passive skills are for his shock, his, I'm sorry, his shock absorption and his elastic skin. For example, for his elastic skin, in addition to his default, uh, his default effects, his skill and bonus damage actually get a good, uh, good increase. In addition to that, his shock absorption T2 skill actually gets instead of 30% uh, damage to physical attacks. It's actually been changed to be able to have resistance to all damage. So there are some benefits you can look forward to for his passive skills. But though does it for passive, let's move on to seeing his skills in action. Alright. Alright, the maker is all Ooh. set to go. A couple basic attacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at skill. This is the oh, basic attack. Alright, I get why they call it that. <laughs> Cool. Pretty basic skill stunning number attack. One. It's kind of just a lariat and just kind of moves towards the opponent. Next up is the elastic net. Whoa. Let me move over <laughs> to these guys over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, he kind of extends his finger and just kind of lacerates his opponent. So, as you can see, it causes a little bit of bleed damage. Look like some claw. There's something scary. The long cast claw. <laughs> Whoa. This is the third skill now. This is referred to as not bad. I had to take a few Just look at this because it's a little bit confusing of what his what, visually what it is he does. So at first he jumps in the air, just kind of barrages the enemy with his fists. And if you can look at it one more time, it looks like he extends his neck and then just kind of you know headbutts his opponent. So take a look at this. Bam. That's referred to as the rubber cannon. So I guess the cannon part is just part of his the way he just takes his head and just launches it directly at the po his opponent. So this is skill four. I'm actually going to go ahead and redo this because the enemies Whoa. aren't really in uh, focus on that one. Wow. I just that. <clears throat> this is his fourth skill. This is the Mad Bombardment. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Not bad. This is a binding. Let me try to work <laughs> again. I'm again get it from this angle. This is a uh, binding attack we'll against the enemy. And this will also increase your overall attack and your speed. Like one more time. This skill remind me uh, of the skill so of... About uh, this Dr. O. Dr. Purse. <laughs> yep. Next is the fifth skill. This is the Sphere of Insanity. Whoa, oh, whoa. It. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of rolls over the opponents. So go ahead and do this one more time. Surrounds the enemy, goes into the ball, rolls them over, wow. and just, yeah, just messes them up. Cool. One more time again. This is another binding attack. 
this actually ignores a good percentage of your enemy's uh, overall dodge rate, in addition to actually just uh, penetrating their overall defenses. This is the fourth skill. Yeah, and of course the developers are very kind enough to actually provide us some notes. So I'm actually going to read literally from what they wrote. They say after using skill four, which is the look like the just chain. Skill four, you can continue to attack even if you link it with another skill. So it is recommended to use skill skill, four first to, to obtain that buff and then and follow it up with a powerful skill such as skill five. Let's go and test that out. We're going to start with skill so number four, map bombardment to get that five. buff. Wow, that's overwhelming. So I'm we're sure many of you guys play might have some mo your own skills and different uh, rotations of your own. So we look forward to checking that out in the comments. And just because we can here, we have a T3 rolled up. Let's just see how T3 looks in, uh, with this uniform. No. I go wrong. Alright, and there you yeah. have it. Once again, for those of you taking this from the developers, so I, I see your uh, three of them. Yep. Get that buff and then follow it up with skill five. In the start video too. Condition. That does it for thing, invisible Bye. woman, and also Thanks, human torch. But uh, will we get a big awakening for them? Yeah, maybe. Three of them might get a awakening skill. Kim, what can you tell us about this book? Well, very much like yeah. being a villainous version of this one. Fantastic superior Iron Man is a villainous version of Tony Stark. And he does have a titular comic series. He has the darkest possible qualities that Tony Stark had. Oh. He has merged. Whoa, into a look at skill game. animation. Wow. That's awesome. So, again, with like this skill. Had dark potential. Oh, that's a good way to put it. So, yeah. for this skill, uh, not for this skill, for this uniform, similar so to the cool. maker, Iron Man's actually listed as a super villain. Maybe he'll have four new skills. And in his first book to open up his passive effect. He's been his passive uh, skills have been changed for precision aim. For example, his critical, his critical and dodge rate have been increased up to around fifteen uh, percent, along with his energy attack. Again, these numbers aren't exactly uh, going to be uh, present possibly live. So again, not all these numbers are exact. And for his passive skill evasive maneuvers, again, critical damage actually has been increased to fifty percent, while skill and bonus damage also has an increase as well. So looking forward to that. So next up, let's go ahead and see those actual skills. So I mentioned he has four new skills. First skill is the Twin Blade, but again, those of you who have his endgame skill, you'll notice not much of a difference there. So next up is the new skill. This is skill number two, which is the Flare Launcher. Mmm. Well, yeah. Only skill so number two is yeah. looks so cool already. Attack. You can just launch this in the air, gives him a good repulsor blast. Boom. Yeah. Oh, I can't see how many hit we're gonna do like he, he can do so over 50 hit I think. Like me, you'll take a look at this. This is referred to as the Iron Drone. So those of you who recognize, remember the wow. comic books Iron Man, he had drones that he would use uh, to, uh, to survey. God. He uses drones for different purposes, but yeah, these are some of the drones that you can see. So this, these drones actually cause paralysis while also increasing uh, your all attack, and also giving you a little, uh, little bit of damage immunity. It gets good, good really food. has a wide neck, doesn't it? You can use that as a pretty pretty hefty buff. I'm gonna go ahead and beat yeah. to these poor souls over here. I'm gonna use skill number four, which is the superior strike. Yeah, so after hovering in the air for a little bit, he then jumps up, comes in Ooh. and gets him with a, a, almost like a wow. the egg. Oh. We'll take a look at that one yeah. more time. It was like an action pose of swinging a, a huge sword Bam. or axe or something. Yep, this is hacked as shock damage. Yeah, nearly 200 hit. Take a look at skill Not five. bad. Whoa. So just, so just with that attack alone, Kim, what do you think the name of this skill is called? Oh. Well, do this I know one more time. Really nice. Oh, you do already? Oh, okay, that kind, that, kind, <laughs> yes, that kind of ruins the fun of it already. It kind of kills it, doesn't it? This is referred to as the reinforced unity. Not just unity, Mr. the reinforced unity. Uh, so it actually is, I should have teased you and just said, oh, it, it's one beam, so I would call it the uni beam. And you probably would have had me, too. It's reinforced. Damn, <laughs> should have tricked you. This is an energy-based attack that actually grants 100% or 50 to 50 to 100% increased damage for the following attack. So whenever you're, so once you go and use this attack, your next attack will get a 50 to 100% buff. Uh, so you can choose whatever attack to link that with and use it once. 
Right? And just because we can, we already have the T3 warmed up. Let's take a look and see how it looks with the T3 active. Um. Okay, look like we have the same skill animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset this here. I'm gonna go yep. take a look what the, dev, the, the developers have to say. For the developers, they say it is recommended to receive the buff effects from okay, skill, we will three, wait and test. skill five to make best use of So skill this four, will be uh, the first skills. uniform so I'm going to get. Because uh, I just recently upgraded him to tier three. Skill four, or you can also follow it up with the T3. Another we also provide a secondary rotate recommended rotation. Again, opening okay. up with skill three. Give it skill two. Skill five. And then you can follow it up with four for his T3 ability. There's just so many it's a lot to go on. A lot going on on the screen. Yeah. No, I don't think that's one or Yumi beam anymore. <laughs> and that does it for the superior Iron Man. Of course, we still have plenty more to go over. Next up, as you already saw, uh, Professor Xavier has a nice little, uh, nice little, uh, little feature there. Kim, what can you tell us about yes. Charles and this new look? Well, this is a fun uniform for um, not bad of some classic Marvel wow. series. Who you might recognize this appearance from? I like it a lot. No, I'm the same because again, I am like you know, I've been a fan of the animated series, so just being able to see this look, mm -hmm. uh, just it's very reminiscent of. Uh, uh, the uh, older days. <laughs> Look at the skill. Yeah, just have that icon yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, so. I know. So for a quick thing about this uniform, this uniform is a little bit different in the sense where it's not. Where in the sense where it's not different. So there aren't really many. I uh, feel impressed now. That come with it, similar to Nightcrawler in really a impressed. previous update. This is more of just a fun skin with a tiny bit, of, uh, a tiny bit of changes with a little bit of addition. For example, for this uniform, the passive skill that comes with this uniform is that you just get a ten percent. Uh, increase to mind damage. Uh, again, that's not really much, but again, this is more of a fun uniform for those who like to collect, those of you who are just fans of Professor uh, Xavier in general. So we're going to go into more details. You can go ahead and take a look and judge for yourself. Right, okay, let's see the screen animation. Up. Mine's all set to go. Let's go. Again, just the basic attack. So we're going to go ahead and start skill one. Again, a lot of these attacks aren't really new. They just have a couple minor, minor tweaks. So let's take a look at this one. So many of these attacks are going to be the same. Again, this is memory manipulation, similar to the mental shock, but the only difference is that it decreases the mind blast or mind resistance by about two, close to 30%. However, it also does a little bit, takes 80% away from the energy attack to deal mind damage. Take that one more time. Let's get it from a different angle that we can see more of a, more of a, him in his yeah, glorious let's, chair. Let's see his front side. Whoa. This is just mechanical move. There you go. It's so want to get smooth. the action. Mike, this moves better than my car. Take a look at skill number two, which is the mental disruption. Again, pretty You're similar to. You're saying much better than your car. <laughs> yeah, that, that that would that would make sense. So for mental disruption, again, that's just a skill that decreases your uh, enemy speed and mind resistance while dealing about 35% mind damage. The only difference in this one, I remember I double checked this, is that here he lurches forward, where in his uh, his previous uniform he lurched, he moves backward. So again, this minor minor tweaks is more for more for fun. This is skill three. This is the energy wave. Again, Whoa. It's similar to the brain wave <laughs> in his original uniform. But the only difference also is that it does 30%, 30% damage. Uh, and it, I'm sorry, it grants 30% additional damage for your next attack. Nice. We do it from this angle so you can see. All right. It's not entire. Nice. Oh, it's fun. Next, we're gonna take skill no, five, which is feel. mind over matter. Uh, okay. They look like they've had their minds blown. <laughs> I see what you did there. So again, similar yeah. similar to mind over matter skill with the previous uniform. The only difference is if you notice, like visually, just the little effects at the bottom there are just uh, it's different. Again, we look forward to your opinions. For those of you who are fans of the, like myself, of the you know, similar to the animated character look, it's something for you to look forward to. And that does it for some of the new uniforms. Oh, you said some in such a strange way, but we'll get back to that soon. Those all look very good. So we have new uniforms for Iron Man, Mr. Fantastic, and Professor X. But of course, that's not the 
y'all? Oh, of course not. For those of you who were looking at the market video, video, you probably noticed there were a couple of new uniforms in there that weren't in the initial teasers. That's they because... looked fantastic, Cage. Exactly. You, you jumped ahead of me on that pun. Yes, we have some fantastic...